what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel look at this nice and beautiful question on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says find positive integers m and n such that m over n plus n plus 1 over m is equal to 4. well our first step towards solving this question will be for us to combine the fraction on the left hand side and we're going to do that by simply taking the LCM of n and m so the LCM of n and m is mn so take the LCM of m and m which is mn so mn divided by n I'm going to be having m so m times m is m squared plus mn divided by m I'll be having n so n times n plus 1 that is n times n plus 1 is equal to 4 our next step will be for us to cross multiply so we have m squared plus n times n plus 1 is equal to 4mn so this is what we have from cross multiplying our next step will be for us to open up this bracket so we have m squared plus now n times n that's n squared plus n times 1 that's n this is equal to 4mn now our next step will be for us to move what we have on the right hand side to the left hand side so that we have m squared plus n squared plus n as 4mn crosses to the left it becomes minus 4mn and this is equal to 0. Now our next step will be for us to write this expression on the left as a quadratic equation about m. So this becomes m squared minus 4mn. So minus 4. Instead of writing mn, I'm going to be writing nm. It is still the same thing. Plus n squared plus n. So plus n squared plus n equal to zero now for us to have an integer solution of m the discriminant must be a perfect square and what is the formula for discriminant it is actually b squared minus 4 ac and like we said the discriminant for this equation must be a perfect square in order for us to have an integer solution for m so what is our b our b is negative 4n so i'm going to be writing negative 4n remember this is squared so i'm going to be squaring this minus 4a a is 1 that's the coefficient of m squared so it is 1 so 4 times 1 times c i'm going to be having 4 what is our c our c is what we have here which is n squared plus n and this must be a perfect square so let's simplify this so negative 4 n squared will give 16 n squared minus now let's open up this bracket we have 4 n squared minus 4n and this must be a perfect squared now 16n squared minus 4n squared i'm going to be having 12n squared minus 4n must be a perfect squared so now let's factorize you notice that 4n is common so we can factor 4n out now 12n squared 
divided by 4n, I'm going to be having 3n minus. Now, 4n divided by 4n, I'm going to be having 1. And this must be a perfect square. 4 is already a perfect square. So, n times 3n minus 1 must also be a perfect square. But notice, notice that the GCD of n and 3n minus 1, n and 3n minus 1 is equal to 1. Because any prime factor that divides n must also divide 3n, but not 3n minus 1. Or simply put, we can use the Euclidean, Euclidean algorithm. Algorithm. So the Euclidean algorithm of n times 3n minus 1, which is going to give us n and negative 1. And this happens by simply putting off the 3n. So all of this implies that n times 3n minus 1 is not a perfect square. But each of n and 3n minus 1 would be a perfect square. So I mean n is a perfect square, is a perfect square, and 3n minus 1 is also a perfect square. So each of them is a perfect square instead of n times 3n minus 1. Now from this, which is 3n minus 1, 3n minus 1 is congruent to 2 mod 3. And any number which is congruent to 2 mod 3 cannot be a perfect square. And because of that, there are no integer solution. No integer solution to this question. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, Take care.